I am not lying when I say, as soon as I started The Sims 3, my computer went <laughs> One thing I do hate about The Sims 3 is the capitalism, so we are turning off shop mode. I mean, we may as well look at all the settings whilst we're here. Firstly, you'll notice the lifespan thing is very, very cool. You can make it so a baby has like a two day lifespan, a 64 day lifespan. You can literally make it anything that you like. You can change any kind of lifespan for Sims. It's really, really cool. Also, we have different levels of free will, low free will and high free will. Low is basically just to preserve their life and fulfill their needs. High is to do other things. In The Sims 4, we don't really have that mix, which I miss. And we have story progression in Sims 3. I think Sims 3 story progression was quite good to be fair. Anyway, we have our random town, eh? Are we making Sims 3 Shanice or are we making a new character? Let's make a new character. Or shall we bring in Shannon Maylee Jones from The Sims 1? There we go. Obviously in The Sims 4 we have skin sliders, which is literally so useful. You can choose any skin tone, even crazy ones, and you can make it light or dark. It is extremely useful. Oh my god, yes, Shannon is having a gorgeous orange fake tan. Body sliders. I actually prefer the body sliders in The Sims 3 than in The Sims 4. I'll tell you for why. Maybe this is getting a little bit deep, but I do think The Sims 3 body sliders can promote unrealistic body images because you can make them like too thin, I feel like. Whereas in The Sims 3, it's like hard locked the thinness. You can't make it too thin, um, which I kind of like. We also have differences in muscle size and muscle definition. In The Sims 4, as, as far as I'm aware, they're basically the exact same thing. Oh, and we can give up big boobs in our breast slider. <laughs> so that's right, Shannon Maylee Jones has had a boob job. I will say, oh my God, there aren't that many hair options in the base game, are there? Bloody hell. Oh my God, why does she look like Molly May? <laughs> One of the best things about The Sims 3 is the color swatch system for hair. So you can literally change the base of the hair if I want to go bleach blonde, which is what I want to do. We can also change the highlights of the hair and change the highlights to any color that you like. If you want to make them a bit more bleachy, you can. I mean, even then this hair looks like it needs a bit of purple shampoo. We can change the tips of the hair. You can't really see it in this hairstyle. Let me make it proper green and change the style. So you can see here, you can change the tips really easily as well. And then we have the roots of the hair, which also changes the eyebrows that you can change. So if you want to make it like her natural color, you can, and it just looks more, I don't know, realistic, I guess. It's just a lot better. I mean, oh my gosh, look at those roots coming through. Girl, you need to re-dye your hair. But you can change also the eyebrow color. You can also change eyelashes in The Sims 3. We know how bad Sims 4 eyelashes are. Look at this, literally incredible. Changing the face in The Sims 3 is actually similar to The Sims 4. It's just in The Sims 4, you can click on the face and drag it. Whereas in The Sims 3, you have the sliders that you have to use, but it's basically the exact same thing. There's literally just as much customization. You just have to go a bit of a workaround way to deal with it, but it's not like annoying, if you know what I mean. Like it's not the worst thing in the world. In some ways, we actually have a little bit more detail. So we have something called, I don't know what it's called, nasolabial crease. So if you look on the sim, it's where you change the side bits around the nose. As far as I'm aware, you can't do that in The Sims 4. You can change cheek fullness, but you can also change the cheekbone shape as you can see. And you can change the cheekbone height too. And you can change the cheek jowls. Let me move to the side just so you can see it maybe a little bit better. In fact, I probably say we probably have a lot more detail in The Sims 3 in terms of cast, which I'm quite surprised about. But I would say in terms of like making Sims, I would say The Sims 4 is no better than The Sims 3. And in some ways, although it's a little bit annoying in The Sims 3 because you have the sliders, you can't just click on things, there actually seems to be slightly more customization options, which I'm really surprised about actually. Clothing, this is where The Sims 3 is not so good. I mean, it matches the aesthetic of back then to be fair. Although no, it doesn't actually, who am I kidding? Sims 3 clothing was not fashionable back in the day and it's not fashionable anymore. It was very unfashionable. Of course, we had the Create Style tool. In The Sims 3, you can apply any kind of style. Do we want a metal vest? Yes, we do. We want a bright metal vest with a metal pattern. You can choose any color. You can really change it in the finest of details. But there wasn't really that much stuff and the stuff that was there was pretty awful. I'm not gonna lie. The Sims 3 did not do good in terms of Create a Sim clothing. We also only had one outfit choice in The Sims 4. You know, you can have up to five different choices, but in The Sims 3, you can't. So that is also something to consider. In terms of personality, we have five traits in The Sims 3 and there are loads.
loads. Just the base game alone has loads, but every single pack also comes with honestly so many traits. It's unbelievable. So yeah, oh my God, look at that going crazy. <laughs> But yeah, there is so much. In terms of lifetime wishes as well, we have so many, even just in the base game alone, but the packs also come with loads as well. Your Sim has favorites. They have, oh my God, my favorite dessert in real life is Key Lime Pie and Shannon Maley Jones has already selected it by default. So that's cool. But yeah, you can have your own favorite foods. You can have also your favorite kind of music. Now in The Sims 4, they have finally integrated likes and dislikes. As far as I'm aware, you can't like your favorite food, but you can like random things like colors. It's just in The Sims 3, it came in the base game to start with. In The Sims 4, it has taken them a while to implement likes and dislikes. They still haven't implemented it in full. Some random things are locked behind packs. Um, but I guess The Sims 4 likes and dislikes system is more in depth and the voice system as well is a bit more in depth, but it doesn't matter that much. Astrological signs. Oh my God, I'm actually Sagittarius and it was default on Sag. Isn't that funny? One other thing I love about The Sims 3. Now let me just create another random Sim, completely random Sim, just for the sake of doing it. So in The Sims 3 base Okay, you can edit relationships, have them sibling, spouse, fiance, or girlfriend. In The Sims 4, for adult Sims, when the game was first released, all we had was sibling, spouse, or like roommates. I know in The Sims 4, they updated it for my wedding stories. You could add fiance, but you couldn't add boyfriend or girlfriend. And I believe you still cannot do so. But in The Sims 3, this was all there to start with. So it was really, really easy just to make like an instant connection between your Sims, like boyfriend or girlfriend. I still find it crazy how in The Sims 4 you just can't do that and they've never given us the ability like they just haven't bothered. So yeah in general even though the fashion in The Sims 3 was bad almost everything else in The Sims 3 was better for Cass. So Cass is a win for The Sims 3, lose for The Sims 4. One thing that I do love about The Sims 3, 1, 2 and 3 is that when you start a brand new save file you start on the world. In The Sims 4 when you click on like new game you have to create a sim first and then move that sim into a lot. It just doesn't make much sense to me. I feel like it makes much more sense to start from a big open map and then you can choose. Do you play with a pre-made household? Do you make your own sim? Blah, 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 blah. One thing you cannot do, by the way, in The Sims 3 is visit other worlds. So even though it does come with a couple of base game worlds, you can add custom worlds. They cannot actually leave the world that they're living in, which is rather annoying. It's one thing that I do really like about The Sims 4 is that you can just go to any world at any point. Even though there is a loading screen, you can actually go anywhere. And although I do love The Sims 3 open world system, I think it's important to remember that I'm playing on a gaming PC, but most people are playing on laptops and their laptops could not ever do something like this. So in that sense, if I look at it from the perspective of playing from a laptop, the open world system's not very good. I shall not lie to you because it is very, very laggy. For me, it's not laggy because I'm playing on a nice PC, but for most people who are on laptops, it was very laggy and it was very annoying. And Sims would often not load in the lots. In The Sims 4, every lot was always like busy with other people, which I like. Now, before we choose for somewhere for Shannon Maylee Jones to live, let's go to the world. We also have the world editor where you can create custom lots, which is where The Sims 4 fails. So I could literally create a lot anywhere. It doesn't even have to be on the roadside. The biggest size is 64 by 64. I could place it on this. Can I place it on this hill? There we go. We've got a lot on the hill now. <laughs> I can click on this lot and I can go into build by Mose. And now I can just build on this like random piece of land. I can just like build a house. Granted, it looks horrendous because I just did it on a hill. But like, if I wanted to, I can. That's the point. I can do anything that I want to do, basically. Another thing about the world editor is that you can really customize it. I can place trees anywhere that I like. Do I want to place some haunted trees next to this house? Yes, I do. Let's put a bloody haunted forest. Why not? You can literally create anything that you like, literally anything. And if you go to the house, you can actually see the trees next to it. So it is like livable. There is also something called the Sims 3 Create a World Tool on the Sims 3 website. You can download it and you can still download it to this day where you can literally create your own worlds. Unlike the Sims 4, in the Sims 3 you can actually download worlds as custom content. Like you can literally see there are so many. Vice City, there we go. We can have a little GTA world. Vice City, do you know what I mean? Somebody is just taking the time to create it and you can download that free in your Sims game. Boom. Look at how amazing that looks. Like that's so cool. And there's honestly hundreds, probably 
thousands actually and you can make your own and of course the world is an open world we haven't even mentioned but yeah it's an open world and it's bloody huge so i believe when it comes to worlds the sims 3 gets another point that's right so build mode now build mode in the sims 3 i wouldn't say it's that different to the sims 4 the sims 4 is just a lot more intuitive and it to be fair the sims 4 does actually have a lot more going for it with build mode i'm not gonna lie to you guys it's i just find the sims 3 build tools very clunky not clunky as such just a little bit annoying at times it is very difficult to build houses i'm not going to build a masterpiece for you all today but just to do so although we do have auto roofs in the sims 3 sims 4 could never so i could just create auto roofs like that if i wanted to you can do custom roofs in the sims 4 it is a little bit annoying i'm not gonna lie but you can still do it one way in which the sims 3 does get a point is you can change the stair width to any width which you can in the sims 4 but the difference is you can have auto railings on or off so i can delete these railings here i can place custom railings anywhere along here i can use different kinds of railings if i want to it's entirely customizable which you cannot do in the sims 4 another thing about stairs in the sims 3 you actually get spiral staircases including ones in the base game i just have the base game installed today by the way um just because i wanted to make it unbiased and fair um but there are different ones lots of different spiral staircases in different packs pools i think they were really annoying to make in the sims 3 i'm not gonna lie but as you can see we have curved pools in the sims 3 and we could not have curved pools in the sims 4 so yeah that is a win for the sims 3 in terms of pools and you could create the most bizarre shapes with the curved pools i literally love it also a very random feature i don't know how you feel about this but in the sims 3 you always get an automatic chimney when you place a fireplace so now i place that here you can see there's a chimney here i know some people like that because it's more realistic others don't i personally don't like it i find it annoying going inside we don't have as many objects but what we do have is the create a room tools which do make it a lot easier well i say easier it actually makes it a bit harder so we have the create style tool if i click on this little refrigerador right now it's a custom metal swatch i can change the color to literally any color i like i can change the undertones i can change all of the intricate little details it is very very cool i can also change it so if i don't want it to be metal i can go on abstract what have we got over here wavy kitchen tiles we've got bloody bacteria nucleuses cells something a little bit pretentious like you can go all the way now if you did not have a high-end pc this would take a very long time to load like an extremely long time <laughs> i remember i used to play the sims 3 on my old laptop and honestly it was a nightmare the lag with the create a style tool so yeah that's something to consider i personally think i prefer the build by options in the sims 4 we have a lot more in the same way that they were in the sims 3 i actually prefer the sims 4 swatch system just because it's a bit less overwhelming because although in the sims 3 we have a lot more options it's just so overwhelming and just change just such one little thing is very annoying so in that sense i do give credit to the sims 4 although look at this little crib we have nothing like this in the sims 4 sims 4 could never but in general i will say the sims 4 is better so that is our first win to the sims 4 build by so obviously gameplay is incredibly important seeing that the sims is literally a game shannon maley jones is ready to go oh my gosh she looks so angry the interface is obviously very similar to the sims 4 it's not really that different i'd say they're the same in that respect although we do have these wants it's not like the sims 2 wants and fears but we have random things like she wants to join the criminal career that's probably because she is evil to be fair yeah to join a career in the sims 3 you actually have to wait for the postman to come and deliver posts there he comes and we actually have to find a job in the newspaper like they did in the 90s there we go first up criminal career we've got criminal political business military according to sims.fandom.com we've got business criminal culinary journalism law enforcement medical military music political professional sports and science and then of course all the different packs came with a lot more in the sims 3 the mood system was very important so when you're going to work you need to be in a good mood mood is determined it's kind of like in a similar way to emotions work so she's comfy because she sat down she's having a blast because she's having so much fun it's almost criminal well she is a criminal in terms of the wants they're pretty annoying she wants to see a go she wants to learn guitar skill now she wants to buy a guitar she wants to reach level five criminal career like they are a little bit random in the sims 3 obviously the great thing about this is that it's open world so i can go anywhere if i like although seemingly that we do have cars in the sims 3 i feel like we should drive somewhere but 
By the way, a lot of people say cars in The Sims 4 would never work because you couldn't have driveways. By the way, in The Sims 3, to show you how driveways work, you can actually place a driveway anywhere. I can even put it right at the back of the lot. I can get this little crappy car here, although we are yassifying it up because this is not vibe. Should we get a themed one? Should we do flames? Oh my god, should we literally do a flame car? What? There we go. We've got a flame car and we are having cute bunny rabbit doors, I've decided. So let's go out into the main world. Let's say we want to go to the beach. You can click and visit Old Pier Beach. As you can see, she doesn't like drive to the car. It just kind of like teleports on the road and then she gets in the car. I feel like this system could have been implemented in The Sims 4. It still can be implemented in that way. I wouldn't mind them honestly just like teleporting off into their car into different lots. And yet here we are at the beach. Oh look, a picnic basket in The Sims 3 base game. Sims 4 could never. Should we grab a plate of this person's picnic? Morgana Wolf, I'm very sorry but I'm stealing your picnic. She said, like, oh my god, what are you doing here? <laughs> She's like, get off my food. Why are they staring at each other eating? They're like having a competition who can eat it the best. They actually look rather creepy, I shall not lie. This woman, oh my god, she looks literally so angry, but she's just chilling. We can go fishing, we can go swimming in the sea. In terms of socialization and just chatting to this random guy, there is a lot to do. Now, I do personally, in every Sims game, I find it overwhelming how many chat options there are. I know this is really controversial. I would have rathered, honestly, just have none of these options exist but it's socializing in the sims 3 to be honest is very similar to the sims 4 like you can do things like you can form groups and stuff and go up together in groups you can gain a relationship by different means like it's basically the exact same thing i came to the graveyard for a specific reason by the way because yes in the sims 3 we have random graveyards which we don't have in the sims 4 which is annoying you have mausoleums we can explore the catacombs very randomly but i'm not gonna lie it's honestly amazing i can just be like okay i want to go here let's go teleport with cheats boom i'm here before i even arrive there are already sims sat here playing chess like there's already you know something going on so i will admit it's pretty good oh look swings in the sims 3 base game sims 4 could never the thing about the sims 3 by the way we have a lot of rabbit hole experiences so this is the elementary school right now i can't really do anything on it because it's literally midnight and i don't have kids in my household but we have a lot of rabbit hole things so like restaurants for example i can click on this restaurant and i can eat here alone i can join the culinary Korea. We have a spa where you can go get a facial. You can go get a package. You can go get a salon. We have the hospital. You can join the medical career or give birth there. We have a theatre rather. We have a bookshop. We have a supermarket. I know a lot of people beg for The Sims 4 to have groceries. In The Sims 3 we actually had groceries which was cool and you could choose anything you like. In The Sims 4 if you want groceries you have to have the country living pack. In The Sims 3 it's just in the base game. We have another little bistro restaurant here. We have have a bookshop where you can shop for books. Granted you can't go in. It's I feel like it's a lot nicer than The Sims 4. It feels just a lot more immersive because in The Sims 4 you just buy everything from the household inventory. Do you know what I mean? But you know what? In terms of general gameplay I would say The Sims 3 and The Sims 4 are not that dissimilar. The actual just basis of playing like the general day-to-day -day gameplay is honestly so similar. There's honestly not that many differences. Obviously the thing about any sims game is the packs and i feel like we do need to talk about the packs i don't have any installed today but we can still talk about them the sims 3 only had stuff packs and expansion packs we didn't have game packs although we did have the sims 3 store which was a capitalistic -y bitch i hated the sims 3 store worse than kits i tell you now and you know what the sims 3 is an expensive game so sims 3 expansion packs right now it's on sale for 15 quid but usually sims 3 expansions are 30 pounds i don't know what that is in us dollars you're gonna have to work out maybe like $40 or something. In terms of stuff packs, they are $14.99, which is a lot more than Sims 4 stuff packs. And in general, in terms of value for money, I'd say Sims 3 stuff packs were pretty bad, but the expansion packs were much better. As we know, with the Sims 4, they often spread out a lot of things across multiple packs, whereas in the Sims 3, it was all kind of combined into one pack. If we take a look at the Sims 3 ambitions, it came with a new town, which was a huge town. It comes with brand new skills, sculpting, inventing, and tattooing. It comes with careers, architectural designer, firefighter, ghost hunter, investigator, stylist, a new education career track, new features to the existing medicine career track, new skill careers being fishing, gardening, painting, writing, nectar making, photography, inventing, and sculpting. Eight lifetime wishes, nine lifetime rewards. It came with earthquakes randomly. It came with laundry. It came with kids being able to do a bake sale. It came with a new real estate 
system so you could actually own real estate and make money off it. It came with motorcycles. It came with a consignment sort of junkyard, a hangout spot, a laundromat and a fire station. And it came with six new traits as well as so many other things. So The Sims 3 Ambitions had five active careers, but The Sims 4 Get to Work had only three active careers. Sims 3 Ambitions came with some extra rabbit hole jobs, whereas The Sims 4 1 didn't. But The Sims 3 has loads of new traits and aspirations. The Sims 4 Get to Work had none. It's just The Sims 3 was much more in depth. If we look at The Sims 3 Late Night, one of my favorite Sims 3 packs, this pack is basically like The Sims 4 Get Famous, plus The Sims 4 City Living, plus The Sims 4 Vampires, plus The Sims 4 Vintage Glamour Stuff, plus The Sims 4 Get Together all rolled into one. Or taking a look at The Sims 3 Pets, in The Sims 4 Pets pack we just got cats, dogs. In The Sims 4 we got cats, dogs, horses and unicorns. You can also have lizards, turtles, snakes and birds in The Sims 3. There are new NPC animals being deers, raccoons and wild horses. Four new traits, seven lifetime wishes, came with the ability to cook gourmet food for your pets. Can you do that in The Sims 4? I don't think you can. So here's the deal guys, I'm splitting this into two things. Firstly packs in terms of what packs we have and the variety. So in terms of packs and value for money, the thing is Sims 3 packs came with a lot more content. Although the content was a bit more generalized and spread apart unlike The Sims 4 which is a lot more niche and detailed, I like that The Sims 3 was very ambitious and all of the packs had a lot going for them. Like the Island Paradise pack having this incredible hotel resort system, Sims 4 could never. I find that The Sims 4 has really good intentions but they never go far enough in their packs and one of the biggest differences for me between Sims 3 and Sims 4 is that The Sims 3 was very ambitious whereas The Sims 4 is the total opposite. And yes, technically The Sims 4 has a lot more build buying cash with every pack but at the end of the day it's a game. You play the game, you don't play with clothes, you don't play with build buy, you play the actual gameplay. So from the perspective of gameplay I will say The Sims 3 had significantly better packs. In terms of value for money, obviously The Sims 3 packs were more expensive but they contained a lot more stuff in them but they were not as in depth and we had The Sims 3 store but The Sims 4 is a much bigger capitalist so for that it's a split one point to both Sims 3 and The Sims 4. In terms of occults, The Sims 3 had the supernatural pack which came with ghosts, fairies, werewolves, witches, vampires and genies. A lot more than The Sims 4. Now The Sims 4 we have significantly less occults but I will admit the occults in The Sims 4 are a lot more in depth. They have their own special worlds, well most of them do anyway. They have a lot more different kinds of interactions to do. They have skill tree systems. I would say that The Sims 4 occults are significantly better. So yep, The Sims 4 gets that point. Obviously the most important thing in general is the gameplay. And gameplay I'm splitting into two categories, which is just general gameplay, but also playability. What I mean by that is bugs, glitches, performance issues. In terms of the gameplay itself, although The Sims 3 does have its flaws and The Sims 4 is a lot better in many ways, I just feel like The Sims 3 has a lot more to do. Especially with the open world system, I do believe it enhances gameplay, especially if you have a lot of the packs. But at the same time, The Sims 4 also has some pretty good gameplay in the sum of the packs. It's just that they also have some very bad packs when it comes to gameplay. The Sims 4 is very hit or miss, whereas The Sims 3 is very consistent. And it's the consistency that I do appreciate about The Sims 3 gameplay. We've got a lot more things. We've got bloody cars for Christ's sake. Like there's just so much going on in The Sims 3 all of the time. And the amount of customization options just makes it your own world. The fact that you can bloody literally build your own world is incredible. The Sims 3 is much more moddable than The Sims 4 is for sure. That has much better mods. Do you know what? In general, I am going to give the gameplay point to The Sims 3. Now playability, I would say both games are pretty shocking. The funny thing is though, The Sims 3 was an ambitious game and that is why it was laggy. It was way too ambitious. Creator style was way too ambitious. The open world system was way too ambitious. Everything, the bloody houseboats, it was all just so ambitious, which was great. But unless you had a really powerful PC, it couldn't even work. And even I have a pretty good PC now. Even my PC is literally sounding like it's about to explode like a rocket ship. You can't hear because I have noise suppression on my microphone, but it honestly sounds like it's about to explode. So yeah, The Sims 3 was very, very laggy and unplayable, although it was not glitchy. The Sims 4, on the other hand, is incredibly glitchy. I cannot play The Sims 4 very well at all without major bugs and glitches happening. The worst thing is like they designed The Sims 4 with playability in mind. They heard 
heard feedback from players that The Sims 3 was unplayable because it was too laggy. And that's why The Sims 4 doesn't have an open world system. That's why The Sims 4 has swatches instead of color wheels. But the thing is, it's still just as laggy. They designed it to be less laggy, yet somehow it's literally the same. And with glitches, it's honestly even worse. I think lag and glitches is a really bad thing that's happened in every single Sims game. I would say that The Sims 3 and The Sims 4 are worse, but in terms of like the worst worst, I would say it's The Sims 4 and that's because there are packs for The Sims 4 that literally do not work like in the slightest. Like My Wedding Stories is a terrible pack that literally doesn't work at all. Like you can't even have a wedding with it. So what's the point in existing? Dying Out is a pack that's very intermittent. Sometimes it works and sometimes it completely breaks and you fail. Even though The Sims 3 was a lot less playable than The Sims 4 is, one thing I will say is The Sims 3 didn't have like general random laggy issues happening. And the thing about The Sims 4 is any everybody gets lags and everybody gets playability issues, even if you have the best PC in the world. Whereas in The Sims 3, the playability issues only occurred if you had a lower end laptop that didn't have very many kind of good capabilities. Whereas in The Sims 4, the issues happen to everybody across the board. So for that, I will give playability points to The Sims 3. So if my mathematics is correct, The Sims 3 gets six points overall and The Sims 4 gets three points. So The Sims 3 is better than The Sims 4. Is it though? I personally, if I had to choose to play The Sims 3 forever or The Sims 4 forever, I would play The Sims 4 forever. <laughs> I think the reason why is these days I prefer build by mode and that's basically what The Sims 4 thrives in, although it doesn't thrive in gameplay. Guys, give me your honest opinion. What do you think? Of course, make sure you check out the next crazy video here, which is me playing The Sims 3 properly. See you in the next one.